Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this week's Mondays with Mason on a Tuesday. I'm Mason Spesky, your host. Sorry I was unable to do this video yesterday. It's just been a very busy day. It's been a very busy weekend. As you know, probably know by now from my past two videos, I went to both the Pick game and the Steelers game this weekend. So it's been a busy weekend with that. I have to get caught. I'm starting to get caught up now in my studies. I'm almost all back to being caught up, thankfully. And I still have some stuff to do in regards to the spread seats for baseball, football, and updating some things. But I still wanted to do a video for everyone this week just because I thought it would be a good thing. And I talked about this, the topic for today, and I talked about this on my college football predictions video that came out Saturday. I highly recommend you go watch that video if, pos if possible. But the thing I wanted to talk about today was the Pac-12. So a couple weeks ago, we talked about the conference realignment. It was the first episode of Mondays with Mason. Sin As you guys all know, and I explained in that video, the Pac-12 is not going to be, a, most likely, not going to be a college athletics conference comes next academic year. Back in 2022, US, the University of Southern California, USC, and the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, decided to leave their home of the Pac-12 for the Big Ten. That created a ripple effect across college football. This summer, all throughout the summer, I didn't expect any conference realignment to occur, nothing at all, and I was right for the longest time until July, I think, 27th, when Colorado announced they were going to the Big 12. I thought that was all just a minor move. They're going back to where they came from. That's all. Not so fast. Once the Pac-12 and Commissioner George, sorry if I pronounced his last name wrong, but Kalikoff, I want to say it's pronounced something like that, but they put together a new media rights deal with Apple, and the members of the conference did not like it because of the revenue, so they all just jumped SIP. Arizona left for the Big 12, followed by Oregon and Washington for the Big Ten. Cal or We'll get there later. Utah and Arizona State went to the Big 12. Most of these teams are going to the Big 12. You still have the... Yeah, four are going to the Big 12. Four are going to the Big Ten. And then, finally, the conference split down into four teams. Stanford, Cal, Oregon State, Washington State. Like, a week and a half ago... Stanford and Cal left the Pac-12 officially to join the Atlantic Coast Conference, Pitts Conference, the ACC. And that left two teams, Oregon State and Washington State. And that's this is what leads into the topic today, which is the lawsuit that Oregon State and Washington State filed. And I'll give you my opinion on this. So Oregon State and Washington State as the two Pac-12 members, remaining members, filed a lawsuit against the Pac-12 and Commissioner George Kalitnikoff, I'm, I'm so sorry that I'm pronouncing this last name wrong, as I burp, but I'm so sorry I'm pronouncing this last name wrong. So they filed a lawsuit because what they don't want is here's how I think that this works, and don't get me wrong, I'm no legal expert, I'm not studying the law, so don't quote me on this, but I think from what I've heard, this is how what Oregon State and Washington are upset about. Oregon State and Washington State do not want the Pac-12 to dissolve. And it's not because they don't have a conference home. It's because they don't want USC, UCLA, Oregon, Washington, Arizona State, Arizona, Colorado, Cal, Stanford, and Utah, the Pac-12 teams that have said they're leaving the conference and haven't been doing anything for the conference. They don't want those teams to take all the controlling assets, I'm guessing, of the Pac-12 and splitting the money amongst themselves. Oregon State and Washington State want to be recognized as the Pac-12 members, or the Pac, the ones in running the Pac-12, and they want to be able to control the money and where this goes, because it determines their future as well. There's a couple options here for the Pac-12. The Pac-12 may dissolve. This hurts Oregon State and Washington State because they would then have to split the revenue with 
USC, UCLA, these schools that have already said they're leaving. And Oregon State and Washington State would be on their own. They would not have a conference and they'd be on their own. Or there's the potential, of course, that there could be a reverse merger where the Mountain West would take over the Pac-12. The two teams, Oregon State and Washington State, and the Pac-12 conference would then officially become a part of the Mountain West. And then those teams would all just come together and play as one conference. Gloria, I think her last name, Navarez, the commissioner of the Mountain West, would take over this as the commissioner of this new conference. I don't know if it would be a new Power 5 conference or if it would remain a group of five conference. So that would be interesting. I don't think it would be considered Power 5. But yeah, I think the most likely thing, though, and the best case scenario for both the schools and the teams involved is if this gets voted down or if the judge in this situation rejects the effort to dissolve the Pac-12, these 10 teams le- just say they're leaving the Pac-12, join their respective new conferences comes 2024, and the Pac-12 merges with the Mountain West. That's ultimately what I want to see, and I want to see Oregon State and Washington State be able to get that money. They deserve it the most. You know why they deserve it the most? Because they have been there through it all. They're the ones that have stayed loyal to the Pac-12. They're the ones who have been there during the good times and the bad for the Pac-12, and now they're the last team standing. They deserve that money, and they deserve a conference home for 2024. And they've come out, and they've come out swinging this year in football. If you didn't watch the other night, Washington State upset Wisconsin on Washington State's home field. They just swept the series with Wisconsin because Washington State won in 2022 as well in Madison. So think about that. The pack, these two teams, Washington State and Oregon State, are playing football this year with a chip on their shoulder because of all this. The Pac-12 was essentially ruined by some of these school selfishness behavior, selfish behavior. And I'm not saying I don't like conference realignment, because I think conference realignment is good in a way. However, article after article, I have read about this topic, and based on my own opinion, people are going to regret some of these things that are going on now, in, two, in like, say, five or ten years. Don't get me wrong. This all started with Texas-Alabama. That was a great move, and that's going to work. Or Texas and Oklahoma, I'm sorry. Texas and Oklahoma. That's going to work out well. Those schools are in the South. They're nearby South, the other Southeast Conference schools. That will work out nice, and that's going to be fun to watch. I don't think the USC-UCLA Big Ten move is horrible either. I mean, we're getting a lot of good games. But now the fact that we lost the Pac-12, and don't, like I said, I like these new conferences. It's just disappointing and upsetting that the Pac-12, which is a really good, strong conference, that has just not gone past this big puss here and has been kept out of the playoff all these years, is dissolving. That's the disappointing part. There's going to be no more Pac-12. Not the fact that Oregon's going to play Michigan and Penn State once every couple years. Not the fact we get to see USC, Ohio State every couple years. But the fact that the Pac-12, which is considered to be one of the most elite conferences in college sports, is going to be no more. And Oregon State and Washington State are two teams without a conference for football next year. And basketball and everything else. It's a tough situation for these two. I wish them the best of luck. That's all I have for today's video. I'm sorry this one was very quick to say the least, but yeah, it's just, it's been busy and I'm kind of tired, still a little busy, but that's all I have. I'll try to do better next week for you guys, for sure. Keep an eye out because we have NFL predict, NFL recap coming up, college football recap, some more stuff about the Steelers, the 
Pitt Panthers, and NFL predictions for the week. So, anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you have a good one. Take care. Stay safe. Peace.